Okay, so if you were to walk into a restaurant and, um, you know, like normal type, like civilized society and on the, me- on the menu for restaurant, they had like common household animals, would you like, like dog or like hamster, uh-huh. would you try it? Would you, would you order it? Absolutely. Also, my loot does not save. I have to go pick that stuff up. Oh shit, really? Yeah. Did I, oh, wait, did great. I keep the skill at least? No, I gotta go pick that up too. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, we'll get we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay. So we'll, we'll go back to your, your conversation, please. So would you you would try it? Yes, I would. I have absolutely no problem with trying household animals. Yeah, I think I would too, but only if they were killed in like a humane way. Because I know, like in some parts of the world, they do eat like dog, and they are not killed in a humane way. So I wouldn't want to do it like that. Uh-huh. Um, but just like a normal restaurant where they're like, hey, you, have to, you want a, a dog T-bone steak or whatever? I'd be like, okay, I'd try it. But see, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, okay, go, well, you, okay. My thing is like, well, at what point did, because we eat wolves. You, we hunt wolves, or at least we used to, or still do. Mm-hmm. So at yeah. what point did we just go, eh, we're not going to eat these ones? Probably the moment we discovered like cattle, like cow and sheep and things with more like nutritious meat because predator meat like wolves and cats and dogs, they don't really like, they don't really like, they're not filling or like they don't provide a lot of meat in the same way that herbivores do. Uh, so that's what I'm assuming. I don't, I don't think that's factually correct. At least I choose to ignore your your your, your arguments. <laughs> You're wrong <laughs> because I don't believe you. It's, no, it's I don't want you to be right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I could be talking out of my ass. Like this is just something I, I'm choosing to believe, right? Because like, like, cause what what me? It's all it's just me. It's all protein. Yeah, but like, I imagine that meat from like a cat or a a dog or a wolf is stringy it's not the same meat like sure we're all meat and we're all protein but there's different kinds like like kangaroo for example a lot of their body is is comprised of like stringy muscle material but people still eat it but it's a very different taste you know, mm-hmm. it's a very different kind of like meal. It's not like, I don't know. It's different. It's di- like eating, eating chicken hearts compared to eating like a steak. It's very different. Okay. I guess you got a point there, but like yeah. that, I guess that does have to do like muscular density and like the usage of it. Mm-hmm. But like, say you just, you just take a cut of like bicep or something from different <laughs> animals. Is it going to be different? Is it really going to be that I- different? I would say in terms of taste, yes. I would say if like if you took if you took like a slab of meat from four or five different kinds of animals, so like a cow, sheep, wolf, lion, and bison, I would I would wager that you would be able to taste you would be able to tell the difference between herbivores and predators. And like, does that necessarily make it worse? Is the meat worse? I don't. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. Probably just less. Because <laughs> you know, cows are cows are fucking huge compared to like a dog. So yeah. You get more meat, obviously. But do you need that much meat to feed everyone in the U.S.? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen some of the people here? Jesus. <laughs> just eat them instead. What are you talking about? They're as big as a cow. <laughs> But they're all just fat, though. There's nothing to them. I don't know, man. You gotta be pretty strong to carry all that around just naturally. Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, well, do you think fat people are just ripped underneath and we can't see it because of all the fat? <laughs> I've heard that's a common... It's it's a pretty well-known thing, but that's the case. Like, they're stronger, but they have so much holding them back. Yeah. Like, they can't really fully utilize it. Because fat people are, you know, they have strength to them. Because, um, like, whenever I see, but, like, a fat person walking, and like, that dude weighs, like, 
four hundred pounds. He's carrying four hundred pounds when he walks. I always I always pray for their skeletons. <laughs> I'm like these those poor bones, man. <laughs> Um, I knew a guy when I worked at um, at a theme park. I knew a guy that was very, very big. Um, and he always asked me. So, like, oh, I might, I'm out. Whatever. Um, I, he used to for lunch. I remember this, too. So during the holiday season, we'd have, like, different kind of cakes in our restaurant. Yeah. And for the holidays, we had a Yule log, which is like, like a chocolate round. Oh, I got shit. it. Nice shot. Oh fucking MLG! How do I get there? You gotta fucking. You can't cross the river, huh? No, it's gonna freeze me. I gotta go. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you got this, man. It's, it's fast. I think it's fast. You gotta go, go claim your. Way. You gotta go fucking claim your prize. Yeah, I got to. He's got some valuable shit on him. Yeah. So, anyways, um. For lunch, this dude, he would buy two of those Yule Log cakes, which, you know, it's it's a pretty generous portion, a plate of one. So he'd buy two of those. And then he'd buy two Monsters, Monster Energy drinks, and that would be his lunch. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, just the amount of sugar in his body, and taurine, too, which is an energy drink, is just... So not good for you, dude. He just wouldn't drink any water either. <laughs> Jesus. Poor guy. What is he doing to himself? <sighs> I don't know. It, it pains me to see people like that because it's just like something happened in your life. Like you were just never told no or something. And now you're just here. Must be like a lack of impulse control. Yeah. Surely you can cross that part. Um. Yeah, but it's going to do a lot. There's, there's rocks. I'll use the rocks. Okay. The fucking whisper again. I can't. There's like, there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> you just have to prepare for the jump scare. Like at this point, it's not even like effective anymore. You're just more annoyed. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, because it drains your your mana. If I still had mana, I'd be fine because I can save and I have a lot of shit. Oh, it does drain your mana, huh? That's fucking annoying. There's also a dog coming up, so I might fucking die again. <laughs> Oh, so frustrated. We're just so frustrated now. We're like, fucking bullshit. It's literally just the whispers. If they if they fixed it so you could do something about the whispers, I'd be fine. I I would imagine they're no longer like working on this game or updating. The it, right? the guy said he wouldn't, but it's been getting bug fixes. Okay. Oh, I got mana. Oh, there you go. And uh. Oh, I had like a book. Oh, weapon reloads are faster. Oh, okay, I gotta nice. go save. I have to go save. Yeah, you have to save now. <laughs> That's a pretty big upgrade. <laughs> It's so, oh my god, it's right there. Ah, oh, you got this, you got this. You can make it, my friend. Okay, oh, so what we were boy. talking about fat people, right? We were talking about fat people, yes. So fun I fact, just, oh, um, you go ahead first. No, you go. I, I didn't have anything to say. Oh, well, thank you for trying. <laughs> so, uh, fun fact for all the people at home, I used to be a fat kid. Were you now? Yeah, you, you knew me when I was fat. Were you? I mean, I wouldn't say you were fat. You were just kind of like husky. Definitely fatter than you are now. Absolutely, yes. But you were like a husky kid. I wouldn't say you were fat. Okay. Well, I, I was always tall, so it kind of evened it out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Your height was definitely an advantage. So, yeah, the story goes, my freshman year, when we first met, I was, mm -hmm. I was over, I was like somewhere between 200 and 210. So, we'll just say 205. Okay. I was over 200 pounds. Uh, my junior... Yeah, then I, I registered for school my junior year. I weighed like 150. Holy shit. <laughs> and I lost all that weight over the one summer. <laughs> did you just not eat? What did you do? Yeah, I just, I just didn't eat. Oh, we discovered like a little hamlet. Oh, wait, I don't take fall damage. You don't? I don't. Why not? Oh, you're right. I got the thing. Like, oh, no sick, longer... dude. Oh, wow, that's fucking baller. That's such a good power up to get. <laughs> that's like TPs. Uh, I'll go back and buy some upgrade. Oh. Oh, I don't think you'll be going back anywhere. <laughs> the end is nigh. I know. If I if I can get enough money, I'm gonna go back to the village and see if I can get anything. How much money do I have? Not a lot. Damn it. <laughs> there should be treasure here. 
hopefully make this worth our while. I mean, I think the treasure was in the chest. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> got a point. Book. How many do I have? Do I have any lockpicks? I have two. Should I try again? Screw it. Hey, I did it. Oh, there you go. It worked. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going back. Damn, we're fucking loaded now. Wait, isn't there more that you missed? Is there? No, it's just clay. Yeah. I see. So the indigenous people's pottery isn't worth shit. Oh, speaking of indigenous people, we just had indigenous people day. That was like two days ago, right? Yes. How do you feel about the yeah. transition from Columbus to indigenous people? Do you agree I, with it? I am all for it. I do not give a fuck about Christopher Columbus. He was a terrible person that should be forgotten from history. <laughs> <laughs> and so and like the weird thing is like for so long we've perpetuated this wrong idea of him yeah i know because like it's... he didn't even discover america he discovered like the he landed in the bahamas or something right yeah and like i mean it was already like discovered there was people here yeah like when people say like oh we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for columbus it's like well yeah but so would all the native people would be here too yeah, they'd, <laughs> like they'd still be here yeah they'd still be here like we would just be like, well, you know, you and I would be somewhere else, but like white people or like European white people, they'd be in Europe. Yeah. Still. Well, I think not. technically we'd still be where we are right now because we're both natives here. Well, I'm just saying like if if nobody ever migrated <laughs> where we would be like, that's such a silly argument to make. It's like we wouldn't be here. It's like you don't know that. <laughs> We're, this is like this is like hundreds of years ago. Oh shit! Oh, here it is. Yeah, so you know, I'm all for it. I think it's I think it's really dumb that people are getting so upset about it. And the, like the, something I recently discovered, uh, the first the first actual person to discover America or land in America from Europe was Leif Erikson. He was a like a Viking guy. Mm. And Leif Erikson Day is like October 9th. So yeah. it's literally like a week apart from Columbus Day. Like he's the actual yeah. guy and nobody talks about it. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is, man. There's always like people who get like snubbed. Oh, lockpicks. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. First try. Oh, you got a spell. Oh, dude, I got it. I got to save. Dude, we're all fucking decked out now. Yeah, we're, we're balling here, dude. <laughs> It's like um, same thing, like the whole thing with like Nikola Tesla and like Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson oh, or Edison? Yeah. Edison. God damn it, Eric. No, I Thomas Edison. <laughs> no, I'm really concerned. <laughs> Whatever. It was just a fr uh, a slip. <laughs> well, um, this is this is the first time you've slipped, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be time to put me in the home. <laughs> I gotta call the, the hospice, get you a book. <laughs> yeah, but um, <clears throat> there's that whole thing with them, like, you know, with electricity and, like, the patents and all that, like... Well, we later learned that, like, Nikola Tesla's way wasn't really practical compared to, like, now. Yeah. You know, like, having the, um, the Tesla coils all over town probably wouldn't have been a good idea. How so? I mean, they were, like, they had, like, electricity running through them. Like, they were pretty volatile from what I heard. Oh, really? Like, the idea was re was genius, but the execution of it just wasn't super great. All I know is that he wanted to make power free. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and Edison was like, no, fuck that. And look where we are now, capitalism. Yeah, capitalism. Tisk tisk strikes again. When are we going to revolt, Noah? It's actually why we're building up this channel. So, like, as we get more and more subscribers, we're going to slowly start, like, indoctrinating them. I mean, convincing them to uh, <laughs> join our join our cause. We're going to red pill our audience. Exactly. Like, just going to be hidden frames, like, rebel, rebel. Um, there's going to be hidden frames in all of our videos. You know, it's funny you mention that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what, but you know exactly what you did. <laughs> with our Dark Souls videos. Yeah. <laughs> it was, um, I'm, you know, I think it's pretty apparent now. I, I don't think we've ever said it in any video, but we're not recording Dark Souls anymore. We just got kind of, like, tired of it. Yeah. Um, but I did have, like, a fun little 
hidden joke, which honestly, I'm not even sure I did in every episode. I might have missed like one or two where I didn't put it in. <laughs> so it'll be funny to see like, you know, if ever in the future this channel takes off, I just want to tweet that like there's a hidden image in every single episode of Dark Souls. If you find it, I don't know, I'll give you like a hundred bucks or something. That'd be nice. <laughs> like that's my that's my goal, but I'm convinced that there's one or two episodes that don't have that image anywhere because I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you just forgot about your thing. Yeah. Oh, dude. Because I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta get back to the town. I don't know where I'm at. Is there no? Didn't you get a map? Oh, you died, huh? No, I got a map. It just oh, doesn't shit. tell you where you are. Oh my god, this is fucking. It's it's a real map. This, this is one of those like hardcore games for hardcore gamers right here, man. I think I. I'm approaching where we need. Yeah, okay. That way is the town. I made it back. <laughs> no way. I'm. I'm. A, I'm. Oh shit, dude! You, you should just go. Oh, it's good. It's just a tree. No way. It's just a tree. I, yeah, but why does the tree just fall? It's an ant. <laughs> it's an ant. It's coming back to life. Uh, I'll wait till I get back to the town to save. All right. Good idea. Oh my oh god, this god. was. We've done nothing, but I'm so on edge. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's just like because you're just like in this game's atmosphere. I think it's like it's it's a slow burn kind of game for sure. And I'm interested to see how the uh, how our viewers will react to it. Don't forget to spend money. Because you lose it all. You ain't taking it with you. So <laughs> give it to me. Yeah, give me see. Oh, and I can fast travel to the cabin. Oh, nice. I am assuming you go to like a fast travel post. Like you can't just do it from the map. Oh uh, yeah, but okay. we we have we're loaded. So what do you want to buy? Well, let's go find out. See what we can buy. Is there like an AK that you can buy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have three hundred thirteen. It's the most expensive it's a bounty hunter. Oh, interesting. So if we don't find anything, we can generate gold. I've heard that this is really yeah. good. But do you want to spend the money on it right right away? What's the fast travel book? What is that? Oh. Oh, that's huh. well. We're never at a hundred health or a hundred mana, so. I know. Use the monster shot. Scare them away. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. I'm pretty sure that's the highest it'll go to. Because it says lockpick master. Oh, these are all really good. Ooh. I say we should buy the lockpick master and the valuable or the skilled merchant. Right. That's actually, that's a good combination. Yeah. So, lockpick master. Oh, lockpick master. And. Skilled merchant. Yep. We can get one more thing. Okay. Um, That's good. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know how you feel about that one. Uh, it's so we could run around without having to worry about these. Yeah, we can skip um, it. Uh, soon. That could be good. Yeah, but we don't have enough for that one. Oh, I only have a hundred thirteen. Oh, oh that that one's that one's really handy. Yeah. Okay. Settled. And, oh wow, we we're we're fucking we're decked out, man. Jesus, we we've made. We, I feel like we made so much progress. We haven't even killed the fucking wolf yet. <laughs> yeah, we're, we might as well just slay God it right now. <laughs> just kill Cthulhu, man. Let's do it. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Witch Hunt. Um, I'm enjoying the series. It's definitely pretty slow, but I'm enjoying it still nonetheless. So if you are, go ahead and... Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you are enjoying this as well, go ahead and uh, leave us a like and subscribe. And we will see you guys for the next episode of Witch Hunt. Bye. Bye.